I don't think people realise just how exhausting the sword fights are. It's not just the impact on your arm, it's really physically strenuous. After my first shower, I was like... Yeah. Like, couldn't let go of my hand and it was shaking. Yeah, you find yeah. that you will sword fight and you'll get to the end of the sword fight and you literally have to open Prime. your fingers because you're, you, you take so much strain and impact in your hands. It can be quite dangerous out there, so you need to be aware of the other person and everyone else around you as well. Hang on, hang on. You did the first one, and then the second one you didn't travel. The thing that we're most looking for within our sword fight is the trust between each other. You are working as a partnership, so you have to know the choreography. Chris Saunders is brilliant at taking our rehearsals and managing us. So he oversees us and he is basically our health and safety to make sure that everything is correct and as it should be. Three, three, four, yes. The basic move we start with is a twiler, which consists of eight moves. Up, up, down, up, down, round, up, down. That's the basic twiler. And from that, you could repeat the twiler twice, backwards and forwards, and then it goes into stabbing. So you could go stab at the hip, defend at the hip, stab at the shoulder, defend at the shoulder, overhead, defend, overhead, attack and defend. So there's always an attack or a defend, an attack or a defend. First twiler, then on the, what we call the tennis. Really go, da 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 bum 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 And then you can change for the stabbing. Stab right through him, right through. Yeah. Don't go that way. Make sure you stab. Go on, go past him. Yes! It takes a while, doesn't it? Yeah, because if you miss one carve or one, one hit, then you, you just think you've ruined the whole show. And so, the percussion element, it feels yeah. like you're part of the orchestra there. And, I mean, you really hear that as an audience, don't you? The tch, tch, yes. Yeah. Like, which is it's very satisfying, so to that's miss it. one, yeah, you're I, instantly... That's, that's the thing, it's a satisfying oh. sound, so you know that you've made it. And there are times that you get to the end of it and you think, yes! What would be really lovely is on the very first circle, to make it as big as huge. An enormous circle, it just adds to the drama from you. Should we try again? Run at him. That's it. Bust. Bust. Yes. Good. Now you can calm down. On stage, I like to be surrounded by people who are kind of committed to it to see the way Gary has developed his interpretation over the years and then to come into that and uh, feed off it. It's just been really special. Even though I've been doing it for donkey's years, I still get very, very nervous. I know what I've got to do and I know the character. And then when that curtain comes down, I'm just like, oh my God, I want to bottle it now because I'm just so, <laughs> so hyper. And I just love that. I love that feeling and that sense of satisfaction. I think it's really thrilling. Yeah.